Woman told to burn house down after discovering cause of broken toilet. She sticks her ear to the walls as she tries to identify where the noisy pipes are. Little did she know, the plumber had no intention of tearing down her wall. She watched as his eyebrows knit together. He peered into the toilet bowl and gently lifted the seat ring. Sophie asks him what he's doing. I'm looking for it, he whispers. Looking for what? It's not every day you experience something particularly terrifying with your toilet. So when North Queensland woman Sophie Pearson began to have issues with her toilet flush, she didn't think much of it. It was just another day in the life of a homeowner. Things breaking down and needing repair was just a new kind of normal. But there was nothing normal about this. Others would have left the house, never to return but for Sophie, it was too late. As a busy working woman, Sophie enjoys her downtime. Her favorite thing to do is to hang out with her horses and dogs. When she's not hanging out with them she's hanging out with her friends and going out to restaurants. Sophie and her friend from out of town came back to the house after a night out enjoying a meal at a Mexican restaurant. They were stuffed and ready for bed. Sophie lived in a small house, so there was only one bathroom. Being a great host, Sophie offered the bathroom to her friend first. She'd wait until after he was done. Sophie entered the bathroom and brushed her teeth, washed her face and carried out her usual bathroom routine before flushing the toilet, turning off the light, and going to bed. But there was a problem. I went to the toilet and then I went to flush it, and I really had to push down on the button to get it to work, so I was a bit confused, Pearson said. The next morning the same thing happened. She asked her friend if he had the same problem. He admitted he did, but there was something else. He mentioned casually that he thought he heard a strange noise, but he wasn't sure. It was probably just the heavy wind last night, he mused. She walked into the door as he left, leading Sophie to take another look at the toilet by herself. She scratched her head as she tried to press the flusher again. It was working fine before this. Before her friend came over. She put some oil around the sift flusher button and tried again. Still stiff. Just as she googled how to fix stiff toilet flushers on her phone, she froze. Her friend wasn't kidding. There definitely was a noise. Thinking it's the pipes acting up, she immediately calls a plumber. While she waits for him to arrive, she imagines the worst. The expensive repair job of burst pipes in walls. Will the plumber have to tear down her wall? She sticks her ear to the walls as she tries to identify where the pipes are. Little did she know, she wasn't listening out for a pipe. Finally, the plumber arrives. Sophie explains to him what she thinks the problem is. But he's not convinced. He bends down and gets to work. First, he applies a sensor to the toilet bowl. If something's here that shouldn't be here, it'll beep. And surely enough, it beeped. He now knew he wasn't dealing with any kind of pipe problem. No, this was something much worse. Sophie watches as his eyebrows knit together. He peers into the toilet bowl and tentatively lifts the seat ring. Sophie asks him what he's doing. I'm looking for it, he replies. Confused, her eyes follow his around the crevices of the toilet bowl. I don't understand, Sophie says, what are you looking for? Instead of answering, he stands and takes a deep breath. He bites his lip as his eyes focus intently on the toilet lid. Another noise. That's the noise, Sophie exclaims, I think it's coming from the pipe in the walls. That's no pipe, he says. He reaches out his hands and lifts the heavy lid. He places it down beside him. Sophie's eyes pop horrified, she jumps back and screams. There, resting in her toilet lid were not one, not two but four big snakes. Sophie lives in an old house with a few floor cracks, so she believed they got in through there and found their way to the bathroom. Luckily, they were tree snakes, which are non-venomous and apparently, pretty common in eastern Australia where Sophie lived. But this was not a common discovery. Sophie posted her horrified broken toilet experience on her Facebook, and people were equally as horrified. One user advised her to burn down her house while another commented. I squeal when ants come pouring out after building a nest in our downstairs toilet, I might actually pass out if I saw this. 
However, not everyone held the same view. A friend of Sophie commented, Um da so cutty e. If I were there I would want to make it my pet, but best to leave them be, and let them in the wild. I have 12 snakes myself though. Sophie wasn't in favor of keeping them though. She wanted them gone. The plumber wrangled them out for her as she kept her distance. The snakes were later released back into the wild and live in a cane field nearby, unharmed. Thankfully, this wasn't a dangerous situation and everybody got away unscathed. Sophie continues to use her toilet happily and loves her home as much as before. Looks like she won't be burning down her house anytime soon.